Hey guys, what's going on? Glove Save Gaming back here with another video. In today's video, we're starting a new franchise mode with a 33rd team in the NHL. It's going to be the Quebec Nordiques. You guys voted on this on my YouTube channel and my Twitter channel as well. I'm really pumped up about this. Quebec's obviously going to be joining the Atlantic Division. Just like a normal expansion draft, just like Seattle and Vegas did, are going to take one player from each team. Seattle is exempt from this expansion draft, though, just like Vegas was when Seattle selected their team. Let's take a look at the NHL entry draft rankings. This is going to be done probably next episode after we select our team. So we will be picking fourth overall on the quote-unquote 2023 NHL draft. Meanwhile, all the good prospects are already gone. They're already drafted anyway. So let's get going here for the NHL expansion draft, and we'll see who's going to be joining the Quebec Nordiques. So before we get going here to pick our team, I'm just going to take you through like some of the rules that are in the expansion draft if you're not really that familiar with it. I will be honest, I did this one other time off camera, and there were some guys that were eligible that really shouldn't be eligible. They're either too young, haven't been in North America long enough, their contract didn't really make sense to get picked. So just take a look here at some of the rules. Like all players with no movement clause are not eligible for the draft. First and second year professionals, guys that have played like under 40 games in a previous season that are on like some sort of entry level contract. So I mean... There could be some guys that I pass over here. The reason I pass over on them is because they're not eligible. I will say that out loud if they aren't eligible. But I'm excited to get going here. First, we're going to be in with... We could really begin with any team we want. But I'm going to try and go in order as much as possible. The Anaheim Ducks. See what's available. I'm not always going to take the best player available. Sometimes I might even take some guy who might be better for the future in the AHL. So with the Anaheim Ducks... Just scrolling through their roster here. Let's see who the best option is available. Take Always going to take a look at the goaltenders as well, too, because one of the goalies has to be available. I don't believe Lucas Dostel is eligible to be available, though. I could be wrong about that. I'm not going to pick him either way. The Anaheim Ducks, there's not a lot available. I think I'm going to go with Isaac Lundestrom. Alrighty, so we're on now to the Arizona Coyotes. Obviously, Anaheim didn't have too much available. Arizona's got a little bit available, though. Uh, Michael Carcone's having a really hot start to the season. He's making barely anything. I'm considering, honestly, taking him. But I'm not really doing my due diligence if I don't go through, like, every single player. Like, Victor Soderstrom is a little bit intriguing, but I've lowered his potential. So, I mean, I'm not really that excited, like, to pick him up, to be honest with you. Um, with Arizona, Vigmelka hasn't been in North America long enough. Connor Ingram is the goalie they predicted. I'm going to go with Michael Carcone from the Arizona Coyotes. Alrighty, so we're on now to the Boston Bruins. With Boston, I'm going to be honest, I'm going straight to their goaltenders. Either Allmark or Swayman will be available. I don't know why Jeremy Swayman's available. I would protect Allmark over Swayman, but we're getting our starting goalie in Jeremy Swayman. Alrighty, so now we were on to the Buffalo Sabres. Obviously, they've got a pretty young team. They have some intriguing guys available. Olofsson, Yoki, Haru, Johnson, Okposo. A lot of these guys are older. Peyton Krebs is pretty enticing, 22 years old. He is on his entry-level contract, though, actually. So I don't think he's a guy that I can pick up because he's got that two-way deal. He hasn't re-signed. So actually, he is not eligible to be taken, and we will not select him. I think with... Damn, I'm either leaning towards Yoki Haru or Victor Olofsson, to be quite honest with you. I think one of these two guys would really help out our team. It's not really easy to get right-handed shooting defensemen. Honestly, I'm going to go with Henry Yoki Haru. Alrighty, so now we are on to the Calgary Flames. Best available player, Chris Tanev and Hannafin are available. Michael Backlund, Blake Coleman, Dubé, Ruzitska, AJ Greer. I mean, they have a solid amount of players available. Let's take a look at their goaltenders. Like Dustin Wolf, he's just not actually available. This makes no sense. He's on his entry level contract, so I'm not taking him. Honestly, Tanev, Hannafin are great. It's really hard to find centermen in this. I'm going to go with Michael Backlund. Alrighty, so now we are on to the Carolina Hurricanes. They have quite a bit available here. Um, Seth Jarvis, he's actually not available. So Brent Burns, Orlov, Bunting, Jordan Stahl, Foss, Nason, Mor Martinuk, D'Angelo. I mean, there's a lot of pretty intriguing guys available here. Nikishin, he's a prospect that's not even signed, so he's not even actually available. Same with Blake and Gunler and Moreau, Bradley Nadeau as well. That's pretty surprising that... Most of these guys aren't even signed to contracts and they're available in the expansion draft. So with this team, I'm honestly leaning towards a guy like Ryan Suzuki to play in the AHL. I don't really know if there's anyone else that I really want that bad. Maybe Jordan Martinuk, but I don't want to spend too much salary, to be honest, going after like Orlov or something. 
Honestly, as of right now, we're going to go with Jordan Martin, who is a team that we could definitely go back and potentially change. Alrighty, we're on now to the Chicago Blackhawks. They are not going to have too much available for us to select. So we might even go with like some sort of an AHL guy here. Vlasic, he is not available in this. I don't believe Wyatt Kaiser is either. I'm kind of leaning towards a guy like Cole Gutman, to be quite honest with you. I'm going to take a look at their goaltenders as well to see what's available. Some of these guys are obviously younger. They are not actually available in this expansion draft. Mrazic and Soderblom are available. Who the heck did they protect then in that? That is so weird. So, with Chicago, honestly, I think this is a time where we go the AHL route, throw some guys down the minors. Can't have all 30 guys playing in the NHL. We're going with Cole Gutman. On now to the Colorado Avalanche. Let's see who's available for them. Sam Girard. That's pretty intriguing, to be quite honest with you. Josh Manson, Miles Wood, Cogliano, Caleb Jones. Let's scroll through some of the rest of the guys. We'll see who else is available in that. Prosvitov, Uninen. I don't really know if I want either of those guys, to be quite honest with you. I honestly think I'm going towards Sam Gerrard because he's a pretty good smooth skating defenseman who can run our power play right off the bat. We are on now to the Columbus Blue Jackets. Curious to see what's going to be available from them. Not too much in accordance to high overalls available. Let's see in accordance to some guys that are in the minors maybe that could be available. Goaltenders, Martin and Tarasov. Nothing too intriguing there. I honestly think with this team, I'm going to go after a guy like Trey Fix, Volansky, really young, really good in the AHL, can probably start in the AHL this season and get called up eventually for the Quebec Nordiques. So we are on now to the Dallas Stars. Dallas has quite a bit available. Marchman, Dadnov, Harley's not actually available. Smith, Delandra, he is available though, actually. Hawk and Paw, Hanley. Antonio Strange's prospect. I don't really think he's actually available. Scott Wedgwood is their goalie that's up. This Dallas Stars team, I'm going to be honest with you, I really like Mason Marchman. I think he's the way to go. He's probably going to be at least in our top nine, potentially even in our top six. Alrighty, so now we are on to the Detroit Red Wings. Let's see who is available from this team. David Perron, that's a pretty good guy right off the bat. Fabry Kopp. Jake Wallman, Ben Sherratt, Ole Mata, Clem Costin. They've got some pretty good guys available. Honestly, this might be a little bit harder decision than I thought. Billy Huso and James Reimer are available. So they protected Alex Lyon. I guess he's on such a good contract. I was considering taking him anyway. So that was probably the right move from the Red Wings. I just think now that Perron is available and Patrick Kane is obviously protected, I think we got to go with David Perron. He's got one more year left. He's used to being on an expansion team, and I think he'd be a pretty good fit for us. We are on now to the Edmonton Oilers. I don't really know how much they're going to have available for us. Warren Fogle, CeCe Kulak, Gagne, Connor Brown, uh, Yanmark, Derek Ryan, DeHarnay, and a bunch of guys that are kind of more AHL potential. Jack Campbell, Pickard, and Rodrigue are the goaltenders available. I think with this Edmonton Oilers team, we might have to go someone that's like more AHL bound. I'm kind of even thinking Derek Ryan as well for the fourth line. But to be quite honest with you, I think I'm going to go with Olivia Rodrigue, the young goaltender, 22 years old, 75 high fringe starter, and he can be the starting goalie on the AHL Burnaby Aces. On now to the Florida Panthers. Gustav Forsling is available. He is their best guy available. Wow, that's a good contract as well. Oliver Ackman Larson's available. Luis de Reinen, Mikola, Lukov, Cousins, Mahura, Lawrence, Stenlin, Lomberg. They've got some pretty good guys available. I'm so curious about their goaltenders. Well, they got Bobrovsky, Spencer Knight, Stolars. So Spencer Knight is available. I don't think we can pass up on this guy. 22 years old, medium elite potential. He's in the AHL. We could potentially even start him in the AHL as well, just like the Panthers are doing. But I'm not passing up an opportunity on a medium elite goaltender. On now to the Los Angeles Kings. They have a really deep team. We're going to get a solid player from them. Look at these guys right off the bat. Arvidsson, Moore, Matt Roy, Mikey Anderson, Arthur Kaliev. He's not actually available in this expansion draft. Keep going down, though. There's other guys that are, like Jared Anderson, Dolan, Tobias Bjornfoot, really young guys. Uh, Samuel Fagamo, he's been through waivers this year. Let's take a look at LA's goaltender, assuming it's going to be Copley and Riddick. Those are the two guys available. Don't really have much interest in either of those guys. I think we got to go with either like Trevor Moore, Matt Roy, Mikey Anderson as well. These guys are on pretty solid contracts. Trevor Moore's having quite the season. I think I'm going to go with Matt Roy, defenseman for the LA Kings. Alrighty, on now to the Minnesota Wild. They're going to have one of Gustafson Fleury available. I don't know, really know if I want to go with that route, though. They got Marcus Johansson, Middleton, Dewar, Bogosian, John Merrill. Some other pretty decent guys available. 
I don't really know how much interest I have in those guys, though. Philip Gustafson, somehow Flurry's protected over him. I don't really even know if we need Philip Gustafson, though, to be honest with Spencer Knight. And Jeremy Swayman. And then, honestly, I'm thinking of Vegas, like Thompson or Hill is going to be available. Um, so I think we're going to go with a player from the Minnesota Wild, to be quite honest with you. I'm kind of leaning towards a guy like Patrick Maroon, maybe even like Connor Dewar. He could play in the AHL, he could play in the NHL. I think I'm going to go with Connor Dewar. He's just way younger than Patty Maroon. I think he's going to be a better asset in the long term. Alrighty, we are on now to the Montreal Canadiens. Let's see who's available from this team. Jake Evans, David Savard, Josh Anderson, Dvorak, Kovacevic, Yelonen. Some pretty intriguing guys with this team. Let's take a look at their goaltenders. This now is going to be Allen, Montembeau. So it seems like Jake Allen, Caden Primo are available. Sam Montembeau has been snagged up. I'm a Cabs fan. I really like Jake Evans as like a fourth-line center. I think he can help the team a lot, and that's who we're going to go with from the Canadians. Taking a look at the Nashville Predators, obviously like a really younger team this year, if you ask me. It seems like Barry Trotz is going in that direction. Lots of D available. Carrier, Barry, Luke Shen, Colton Sissons, Jeremy Lazan, Cole Smith, Gurionov. So a bunch of young guys available from the Nashville Predators. Goaltenders Kevin Lankinen is currently available. But I think I'm going to go with a forward or a defenseman. I don't really think I want to go for a goalie in this. Honestly, Alexander Carey is pretty intriguing. He's a French guy. Only one more year left in his contract. Even if we get like a surplus of players, like we could always make some trades in the offseason. Some teams will want. So I'm going to go with Alexander Carrier from the National Predators. On now to the New Jersey Devils. Curious to see what's going to be available. First, I want to look at their goaltenders. Kind of figured. Schmid's not available. Uh, Vitek Vanacek, he's the one who's protected. With this Devils team, honestly, just looking right away, I think Eric Hall is probably the best way to go. Really need center in this. Centers are not easy to find. Just scrolling down, doesn't really seem to be like anyone else. Eric Hall is really solid. He could probably even play in our second-line center, depending how our center depth is, but at worst, a solid third-line center for this Nordiques team. On now to the New York Islanders, who have been a really solid team this year, actually, after missing the playoffs last year. So Kyle Palmieri, Mayfield, Alexander Romanov, Wallstrom, Clutterbuck, Aho, Simone Holmstrom has been really good for them as well this year. Let's take a look at goaltenders now. Semyon Varlamov is available. I mean, that's a really solid contract. 2.75, technically for four years because the contract year is added in this I think for the New York Islanders, we're going to go with Alexander Romanov, though. Really solid defense, and we could always go back and take Varlamov. But we have only got 4D right now, so, I mean, we could probably add another one. I really like Romanov. On now to their rival, the New York Rangers. Let's see what is available from these guys. Alexis Lafreniere, quite surprising. They, they protected Blake Wheeler over him, so, I mean, that is pretty surprising. Ryan Lindgren, Gustafson, Braden Schneider is available. Capo Caco is available as well taking a look at other guys i mean for goaltenders i'd assume it's just jonathan quick and the guys in the ahl like even dylan duran he should not be available he's still on his entry level contract and i think we're not really doing our due diligence if we don't take a guy like lafreniere and try to develop him in a quebec city all right so now we are on to the ottawa senators obviously they've been a little bit of a like a dumpster fire recently we'll say with tarasenko you see his two million dollar contract i just couldn't really fit them under the cap whatsoever so i mean this is why he has a two million dollar cap hit to be quite honest with you i don't really know if i'm gonna take him because of that problem to be quite honest but i really like some guys like sokolov or even like jacob bernard docker he's a young guy that can develop i really want to go with bernard docker as a guy you can throw in the ahl potentially call up throughout the season and be like a long-term solution eventually for this team on now to the philadelphia flyers i'd say has probably been like one of the most surprising teams in the nhl this season rasmus Ristolainen, and scott walker nick delorier garnet hathaway these guys are pretty intriguing guys to take on tyson forrester he's not actually available he's a rookie in the nhl this year taking a look at their goaltenders sandstrom cal peterson sam urson not available carter hearts obviously the one that philadelphia has not made eligible from this team i think with the philadelphia flyers we don't really have any type of this on our team yet i think garnet hathaway is a good guy to take fourth line bang bodies and hopefully lead our team to some wins this season on now to the Pittsburgh Penguins. Curious to see who's going to be available from these guys. Lars Eller, Marcus Pedersen, Nola Chari, Pierre-Olivier Joseph, 
Drew O'Connor, Ruedel, Nieto, Redeem Zahorna. So, I mean, some pretty good depth options available on this team. A look at goaltenders. It's just Nadelkovic and Magnus Helberg. I think with the Pittsburgh Penguins, like, Eller's a good option at center right now. We do have four of them. Noel Achari is a solid option as well. I'm kind of leaning towards a guy like Drew O'Connor or even Redeem Zahorna, to be quite honest with you. They're still pretty young for the most part o'connor's got some room to grow i think i'm going to go with him as a potential like fourth line left winger on now to the san jose sharks obviously not a great start this season they've kind of turned it around a little bit with some wins recently don't really know who i'm going to take from this team lebank hoffman benning ruda zadina kunin uh, Jamel Smith, Oscar Limbaum. They just picked up Jack Studenica recently. I really like Nikita Okotiuk. He was involved in that trade last year with the New Jersey Devils. So not really too sure what the best option would be. Martin Kout's not even a bad option too, but I don't know how much NHL um, future he has. Okotiuk is pretty young. He is actually on his entry-level contract, though, after just looking it up. So, I mean, I actually cannot take him. Let's take a look at some other options, like Kyle Burrows, maybe, for the back end to be, like, a 7th, 8th defenseman. Nikolai Knizov as well. He's still young at 25 years old. Zadina as well. I think I'm going to go with Kyle Burrows. I kind of like him as, like, a 7th, 8th defenseman. On now to the St. Louis Blues, who recently fired Coach Craig Berube to make some changes. They got Letty Kapanen, and Toropchenko. Blaze, Scandella, Sunquist, Callie Rosen. Not really too many high quality players available in this expansion draft. So they protected Joel Hofer and Jordan Bennington is available. That's just way too high of a price tag for me to want to take him, to be quite honest. So let's take a look at some guys that could potentially get like some depth on this team. McKeatron's a good AHL guy. So is Nathan Walker, Adam Gaudet. I wonder what the best option would be for us to take here because we already got like a bunch of guys who are like nhl quality bottom six forwards i don't really know if there's a point of kind of adding another one or just adding a guy that can play in the nhl and get called up i'm gonna go with the australian and nathan walker so we are on now to the tampa bay lightning we've only got about six teams left here in this expansion draft tanner Janot, darren radish michael a simon calvin dehan beret boulet mott Hayden Fleury, Austin Watson, Luke Glendening, Phil Myers, Logan Brown. So, I mean, Tampa's got some pretty decent options. A lot of guys that provide depth within the lineup. With defense, we've got seven guys right now. Janot, I think, would be a great piece to add. But I'm even looking at Darren Radish here. He's making league min 975 contract extension for two years after this on one-way deals. I think we need to look towards with some defensemen now. I think Darren Radish is going to be a solid player for our third pair. So taking a look at the Toronto Maple Leafs, our fifth last team. Let's see who's available. Max Domi, Jake McCabe, Mark Giordano, David Kampf. Connor Timmins, Noah Gregor, Benoit, Reeves, Gambrell, Legison. So quite a bit available from this Maple Leafs team. Ilya Samsonov is available in the expansion draft as well. Don't really think I want to take him, though. He has not been too great this year. I think I'm going to go with Max Domi. He's a guy who can play the wing, play center. Seems like he's the best guy available from this Leafs team. On now to the Vancouver Canucks, who have had a really hot start to this season. Guys available, Ian Cole, Carson Soucy, Lafferty, Di Giuseppe. Bluger, Tyler Myers. So some pretty solid guys available from this Canucks team. In net, it's DeSmith, Silovs, and Sachenko. I think with this Canucks team, we got to go with another D, and I really like bringing in a guy like Ian Cole. On now to the Vegas Golden Knights, who are technically in their first expansion draft without being like picking in one. They, they didn't have to give up a guy when Seattle came in. So, I mean, they got Martinez, McNabb, Amadio, Carrier, White Cloud, Colasar, Cotter, Howden, Dorofeyev. Um, Hutton, so I mean, really solid players here, but I really want to look at their goaltenders and who's available. Logan Thompson is available, so I mean, he's a guy I'd really like to bring in. Look at that contract as well, so I mean, that's a mint contract. I know we're going to have three goalies now. We can decide who exactly we want to keep. Some team's going to be calling asking for a goalie, so it's just going to be future assets coming back for us for either Knight, Swayman, or Logan Thompson. On now to the Washington Capitals, who I think have been quite a surprise this season, to be quite honest. Whoa. Evgeny Kuznetsov available. I mean, that really shouldn't surprise me as much as I think it, it did. Martin Fehervari is definitely a pretty good option. TJ Oshie, Mantha, Trevor Van Riemsdyk, Sonny Milano, Matthew Phillips, uh, Joel Edmondson, Alexi Protas is not a terrible option 
as well. So some pretty good guys from this team. Charlie Lindgren having a really hot start this year, but not really too convinced I'm going to take him to be the backup goalie. Meanwhile, we've got three NHL caliber goalies regardless. So with this Caps team, I'm leaning towards Martin Fehervari. So we are on to our final pick, and it's the Winnipeg Jets, the final team in the NHL. Alex Iafalo, Dylan Appleton, Nemesnikov, Schmidt, Baron Sandberg. Some pretty good options available on this team, to be quite honest with you. Just scrolling through, taking a look at their goaltenders, Laurent Brassois, Colin D'Elia are available. I don't think I can pass up on a guy like Alex Iafalo, though. Really solid, like, third-line guy. Can play up, the, up and down the lineup, really solid defensively, and I think he can really help out this Quebec Nordiques team. So that's going to do it for the expansion draft. Just to go over each guy one more time who was selected. Isaac Lunderstrom, Michael Carcone, Jeremy Swayman, Henry Yokiharu, Michael Backlin, Jordan Martinu, Cole Gutman, Sam Girard, Trey Fixwolanski, Mason Marchment, David Perron, Olivier Rodrigue, Spencer Knight, Matthew Waugh, Connor Dewar, Jake Evans, Alexander Carrier, Eric Halla, Alexander Romanov, Alexis Lafreniere, Jared Bernard Docker, Garnett Hathaway, Logan O'Connor, Drew O'Connor, Kyle Burrows, Nathan Walker, Darren Radish, Max Domi, Ian Cole, Logan Thompson, Martin Fehervari, and Alex Iafalo. Welcome to the Quebec Nordiques. Not too sure if all of you are going to be here at the start of next season, but at least to get selected in the expansion draft. Thank you very much for watching the first video of this franchise mode, just going through the expansion draft and see what kind of team we're going to have going into Season 1. I'm pretty happy with the results. I'm not convinced that we're going to be a playoff team, but I wouldn't say that we're too terrible. Um, we can always sell off some assets as well, get some good picks, and kind of build through the draft. If you haven't had the chance to check out any of my other content, I'd really appreciate it if you can go back and do so. It would help me out if you can like, subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell so you won't miss any future uploads.